We're on. What a day. It's been a long day. What a day. <laughs> Gonna have camera two live. Camera. <laughs> yeah. Wait, which camera are we looking at? No. no. Um, Blood exception. Right, this is day three of Tyree Wave Classic 2024. Today we actually had action, which was good. Um, so we can talk about that. Um, yeah, Luke, where were we today competing? The maze. The maze again. The maze again. But it was different conditions, like complete opposite way around. We yeah. had port tack, um, kind of wavy. Yeah. Like some bigger waves in the end. Yeah. Um, and but light wind, like pretty light on the edge at the end as well. Definitely especially. towards the end, yeah. The wind completely disappeared. Yeah. I think it was definitely wind at the start, but then it like started shifting more and more on shore, which did bring the waves in a little, but then just killed the wind basically well, not yeah. killed it like it slowly disappeared as it got dark and it, did, wasn't it? it? yeah it was um, kind of behind the rocks as well towards the end yeah so i've made a mistake again of not um introducing everyone so <laughs> would you like to introduce yourself yeah so i'm julius byrne windsurfer from ireland uh, i run my own windsurf school so if you're in galway go check it yeah, out if you're in galway check out rushin bay windsurfing yeah. I hear there's nice people who run it. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of eggs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get 95% of our people back off the water. So. That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Where do the 5% go? We don't talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> off to America somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's a pretty good spot for learning, is it? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a really nice Shelters. freestyle spot. Very good for beginners. Like You can stand most places, so... Uh, low tide, it's ideal. High tide, it's kind of like kayak paddleboard spot. Mm. Um, southwesterly winds getting there perfect, which is our prevailing wind. Yeah. Um, straight off the Atlantic, very flat water, so perfect for learning. And where do you do most of wave sailing? And then there's like this little river that you can windsurf through at the right tide. Windsurf upwind a couple hundred meters. Uh, we get small waves like chop bother and you know, wind swell. Yeah. Um, in the storms and if you get the perfect tide you might get head high swell but it'll be very like low period yeah so like back loops but you got a place really in Pozo haven't you yeah Which so I cool. live in Pozo a few months of the year in the winter yeah pretty good so I miss the peak season but it's quite nice it's always empty yeah. you know not much fighting for waves there so another 200 empty. people there in the summer no no <laughs> I haven't true. experienced that and I don't want to <laughs> I recommend not to. Yeah. No. Um, do you want to introduce yourself, mate? Yeah, I'm Luke Raystrick from the northeast of England, Yorkshire boy. Yeah, but now based down in Cornwall. Cruise about, do different bits. Yeah, bits um, and bobs. Bits and bobs. But this um, year you're judging in Tyree. Yeah, this year is my first year not competing in Tyree. Obviously, usually in the the pro men's fleet, but now judging this year, which is interesting. Seeing the other side of it, I think. After working on the PDA tour on the media side of things and seeing other judges and sitting behind them and like learning a few things, now bringing it back home is uh, it's interesting. Especially this year, we're super lucky to have Duncan Coombs yeah. back in Tyree, cool. who's um, he's not been pressed into judging, but I think he loves it so much he can't help himself. And he's sort of with Adrian Jones, head judge, and uh, other people like chipping in, like Robin and stuff. Mm. And so, the, so it's like kind of you and Adrian, and then there's a third guy, sort of. Yeah, I'd, I'd, say it's, I'd say it's Adrian and like, and then me and and Robin and and this like Tim was helping out today, okay. but then everyone's changing in different jobs and stuff. Mm. But um, it's really cool actually because Adrian's been head judge for a while for the BWA, and, and someone like mm. Willie, who's the head judge for Tyree, twenty three years or whatever of doing Tyree and now judging roles and of manager roles. Um, to then have Duncan come back again, I think the last time he said it was probably about a decade ago, to come in and be like, he's not doing anything because the reality is, well, he is doing everything, but he's basically reassuring us because the last couple of days, everything we've been doing, it's like, yeah, 100% like that. Right, that was quite interesting. We talked judging. about it earlier, didn't you? Because like, you were judging and obviously it's your first time judging too. Yeah. You, you were like, I hope I'm doing it right. But then it was quite good because you'd get, well, every, every, at the end of each heat, you'd get like a little radio from, from him, would you? Or how yeah, he'd either be in the truck or if yeah. he's commentating, which I'm, I know he loves. Yeah. Um, 
uh, it was kind of afterwards and he, he would be agreeing with scores or giving us tips like okay like yeah. stretching the scores a bit because there is limited in these conditions mm. but I think yeah, I'm pretty sure. But at the end, they, each heat he was agreeing with. Yeah, with yeah. The results, I think so with each heat, he was pretty good for you guys. Like, it's almost like is it a confidence builder for you guys? Like, yeah, definitely. Like, right, yeah, we're definitely. doing a good job. Here, um, I, I think for me, it's just learning curve anyway. But say like uh, Adrian Jones, head judge of the BWA, he's also been judging the BWA for a number of years now. Um, probably not far off since Duncan stepped yeah, back. Um, for him, it's it's probably great to see that you know what we're doing here matches up not only on the Peter Way Tour, but like international standard IWT, whatever, like other stuff mm. Duncan's done. And for us as a tour, I think that's great. Yeah. We can... And I think it's important because it's a three-star event in this global kind of system. Now. Yeah, the so way thing works it's, now. It should all be, you know, linked in yeah. with the judging and everything. And I think it's super privileged because it's not like Duncan's turning up at other small three-star events around the world and being mm. like, yeah, this is how you do it, guys, and like this is what you should be doing. So... Mm. I think as a small tour, a small event, I think yeah, yeah, super lucky, cool, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been good. You've been watching a little bit today. Can you talk about the conditions? Because you were there yeah. fairly early on. Right? Um, I got there nice and early, around eleven o'clock. I got maybe two and a half hours out there. Um, it was like five o underpowered, but you got some gusts. Yeah. So you could plane off the beach, get some jumps. I think I came in, like when I stopped planing consistently, I just decided to call it. And that's when I started watching the heats, but it just kept dying consistently throughout the day. Really? Yeah. And the waves, I think I stopped as well when the waves are kind of bouncing off the rocks. Yeah. I didn't really like the look of the maze. I was, I had one close call with the rocks. And I was like, nah, this is not for me anymore. Yeah. Uh, the first time I sailed at the maze in one of the contests a few years ago, like, it's quite intimidating with the rocks. Hmm. Like, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of them. And, and like the they pop up them. everywhere, like they yeah. suck up the water and everything. It's a maze for a reason, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's literally just a maze of rocks everywhere. I even got lost trying to like walk my sail back on. <laughs> Where do I go? You're asking me for directions. Yeah, right? was, wasn't I? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's kind of scary. But like, it's not obviously like who keep a rocks or anything, I guess. But no. um, it's still just the fact that there's loads of rocks can be quite intimidating. Um, and when it's high tide, especially. It's very manageable. It's just. Mm. Like you're doing your bottom turns and you see them out of the corner of your eye or yeah. you're, you're looking that if I finish this, can I come back up wind between that gap? And yeah. So there's a lot more thinking to it than just, oh, sand. Yeah. So I think at low tide though, it's quite an yeah. easy so spot, isn't it? It's just sand yeah. the whole way. Yeah. So I think that was my first time going at that high tide. Okay, yeah. So never had that issue there. No, yeah. Yeah, it, does, it did come pretty high today. I think a few cars were like getting yeah. stuck in the... And stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we were radioing through and we were like, uh, can you just sort the rash fest out for the next heat? And they'd be like, sorry, we just got the tractor down to dig the three vans that are stuck on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, oh, okay. Yeah, there was, there was a bit of panic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I was just watching the heats and then one of the lads is pointing over, laughing at all the, the hassle going on. I stick my head around the van. I was like, oh my God, all these vans yeah. stuck. <laughs> Every car people pushed. It was like, oh, it was like Mayo up. Part Two. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I think we were one of the last vans actually not moving. Then we were like, oh shit, it's time for us <laughs> to move next. Yeah, it seems to always happen in Tari. It's just a tradition. <laughs> yeah, getting stuck in the sand. Yeah. Uh, no, it was good though. But what? How did it? Because I, I actually wasn't there for the first part of that because I was doing shopping for another contest that we're doing in the house. But uh, you did you start off with the Masters? Yeah, started off with the Masters. It's a long day, like, starting at 9.30, okay. and then finished nearly at 6. Yeah. It was a long day, and I think we had one, maybe two heat breaks, which is, like, 12 minutes. Did uh, you have lunch? Well, kind of, yeah. yeah. Like, I had a fucking sandwich in my hand that was, like, inhaling whilst trying to write, a, a, like, a jump score <laughs> down from someone. And there was Tough life, judging yeah. him. I was like, fucking hell, I mean... Yeah. It's not as hard as being like water, but I say it's a long day. Yeah. Um, but even like, yeah, like for me when I was competing, it's like there's that thing you don't actually think about managing when you're gonna eat. Yeah. Like working out when your heat is and like oh, I'm, need, I'm gonna have to eat at some point, you know, doing all this exercise. But yeah. If you do it too close to your heat, then you're just all full and you're swimming in the waves, yeah. trying not to burp everything up. <laughs> <laughs> you have some well, you you have some special <laughs> foods, but what's your go-to like food in co contests? Um. If I've time to prep it, I'd make 
like a bolognese sauce with mashed potato mixed. Like it keeps it warm for hours so you could, you know, cook it in the morning. It's still, still warm at six o'clock at night. So that's kind of a big thing and it'll keep you full for hours. Yeah. Um, not so ideal if we don't have time. It's just mince, garlic, onion, butter. Yeah. That also works. And breakfast, if you don't have time, you have your special little... Yeah, six eggs, drink Six it. eggs, whisk yeah. it up. Suck them back. And <laughs> you can iron one over there. <laughs> have you, you haven't had to do it this week yet, though? Um, no, there's too many cameras around this week. <laughs> <laughs> You're too Someone's trying to be like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a shy drinker. <laughs> <laughs> that is impressive, That's though. Yeah. yeah. Where thought, did you actually come up with that idea? I don't um, think I actually asked you. No, I think my brother did it first and he's like, it's actually not that bad. And I think I was in a rush one day and I was like, <laughs> fuck it, I'll try like two. Yeah. And it wasn't that bad. The next day I tried three or four and the next day I tried five. <laughs> then I found six was kind of the limit. It's like, because you're pretty much chugging a full pint and like I can't really oh. chug that much anyways. So it's like six. And you have like a backup much. drink to make it. Yeah, like orange juice, bang, taste is gone. Yeah. yeah. Does well, the job. Impressive. Yeah. Like I thought it would be harder than it was. It's you know, flavor good. wise, like a five out of ten. It's yeah. not really into the bad, bad flavours. But you can't or, do it with like cheap eggs. No, it's gotta be good eggs. Good eggs. Yeah, yeah. I from found the farm. Organic eggs yeah. decent, but corn fed eggs corn they're actually fed. nicer. Like there's yeah. There's a decent flavour to them. No salmonella. <laughs> no salmonella. Oh, I, yeah. I wash the egg first before I crack it. The Is outside of the egg. Yeah, that's what they say to do. Really? Is that where it is? I don't know. You know more about eggs than I do. So. I know. Google told me everything, so. <laughs> <laughs> Never lies. Yeah, TikTok. No, no, no. TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. TikTok. That was you this evening, that's what that was. <laughs> yeah. TikTok recipe. Poisoning yeah. us with a couple of hairs. Yeah. yeah. Health and safety was. Uh, Let's put his hat on now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I late. know. I know. <laughs> I'll make a point about that in a bit. Um, so, up early masters. Yeah, sorry, up early masters, like. Got through the masters, like all through the masters? Yeah, the whole simulation. And so, when I grew up doing the BDOA tour, it would be the amateurs was the biggest fleet by yeah. a mile. Right. Yeah, yeah, like a long way. And then you would have the pros, the masters, and even like grandmasters, I think, when I started. Oh, really? um, what age group is grandmasters? Yeah, 55 plus. I think it's 40 or 45 is Masters. Yeah. And um, so that was really cool. But I think now, as we're on like windsurfing's on the decline anyway, or is like not really getting any bigger. Yeah, we need more young people. Yeah. yeah. And so a lot of people have gone to the pros or like carrying the arms have slowly got older or have gone away from windsurfing and come back again. I think Terry's the, this year is definitely the first example of that where the amateur fleet is almost half, not quite half, but I'd say not far off the size of the master's fleet which kind of shows the generation in windsurfing um so it's our biggest fleet by far so we, we smashed to a whole elimination single elimination um, mm. which is hard going by those guys because even that like doing a single back to back to back it's tiring for us yeah. but those guys are on the water like True, yeah. all the way through and it was hard going like they you said, did well in the conditions yeah like i think again like i said some of some of the masters is it's people that have dropped down from the pros. So you get some really good people and yeah, some who are just there for like a Like recreational laugh. sailors yeah. are here for a laugh. So yeah. there, there's a really good mix, which is kind of good because in a single, with the seeding, it works the way as the other fleet. So you do get some mixed matches, which mm. makes heats pretty easy for people. Sometimes you get really close draws, which is really nice for some of the guys that say they're like, maybe this is their first competition and they're coming up to 50 or, or like 45 or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, it's great because it's bringing them into this social world they've never probably stepped in before in the wave sailing scene. Um, so it's really cool, but there is a big, quite a big difference, probably a bit like the AMS, there's a big difference mm. um, in like top to bottom of the fleet. I, I was actually like speaking to um, a couple of people from the Irish event and they were like, when they were thinking about Tyree, I was, I was like, yeah, you should come to Tyree. And they were like, oh no, like uh, it looks way too hardcore for me, like the level and stuff like that. And I think because it's, put out yeah. as this like, big event, like the cameras and everything, everyone's like, oh, it's like too professional. But actually that's like a good point. Like amateur, like there's, there should be loads of people yeah. who like, could easily do that. Because what's yeah. the level, like what would you say is the minimum level for like the amateurs to start? Uh, well, I don't know this year because we haven't actually done Am the yeah. <laughs> AMS fleet. 
we're saying the masters it goes from anywhere like if you can water start yeah do a nice floaty jump and sort of can turn a bit on a wave Enter. that's your entry level like, yeah. and, and realistically in the BW way mm. I think your entry limit is can you water start relentlessly like as long as you can water start comfortably yeah. in, in the waves yeah. yeah with a bit of chop and stuff yeah. around like out the back then and they're never going to send right. the masters out in crazy no, stuff no probably. no no yeah. definitely not and I think that's great because actually the more people we get into that level the more people feel that they're not just going to be in one heat and get knocked out because they actually get to compete with people their same level because yeah, yeah. I say like like I said before, the the difference is so big. Some of the masters are in like the finals, they're consistently landing back loops when they're windy and like doing good forwards, like stall forwards and stuff. But then earlier than that, it is the ju- the the jumping is down to nice big floaty jumps. So yeah. Like a, you don't have to do loops yeah, or anything. No, yeah. no, you don't have yeah. to loop and like a really nice like a nice a floaty wave with at least like like a good hit or whatever, like one good hit. I think it's. It's grand, like you've got yeah. it, the the difference is so good that actually it is really pretty easily competable for for anyone, yeah. and it is a good laugh. You join in, and yeah. especially the masters fleet, especially yeah. here, like. But yeah, yeah AMS. We want more AMS, basically. Like, yeah, we, we do. We want people, yeah. in, like younger people in the AMS. Yeah, we good to see. Which I think we're getting with like the future pros here. Yeah. The initiative's amazing. Um, Aren't you the future pros are, like killing it? Yeah, like, some of them man. forwards and gnarly, everything. Yeah. So be good to see that through the week they'll come through soon but I think we just it is interesting to see there's not many people say like our age mm. who are like not say our age a bit older but yeah, not in the future pros but also there's not in the amateurs mm. and maybe it is because Tyree is like this big scary place or whatever yeah. maybe it comes across that way but yeah that's, that's just the thing like if anyone is thinking about it then it's nothing scary really is it no, no. just turn up meet new people should be a good laugh yeah it's uh, great and that like, hopefully learn a bit and push your sailing a bit. Yeah, day. definitely. And like I was saying, it's weird for me this year being on the judging side because I've never been a person that when I do my heats, goes and asks for scores. Yeah. And it's like, oh, like, oh, okay, I was so good at this but really bad at this and what did they do that got past and shit. But then during that we had some of the ladies and some of the masters come up during today and we're like, oh, cool, someone said my wave was good, my jumps weren't, so what did that actually look like in terms of scores? Yeah. And doing that's amazing. You've come up and talked to the judges truck. We will literally break it down for you. It's like, right, like if we've got time, because we might be sure. looking at a, yeah. a heat, but this is what we're looking for. And this yeah. is what's got higher in these conditions. So like when you're at home, practice mm. that type of thing. Yeah, it's always worth um, I always find I look at the scores when I lose and not when I win. Yeah. yeah. Which actually, that, that's the whole thing about like when you lose, it's like, oh, sometimes you actually learn a bit more because you get a bit yeah. of feedback from judges or whatever. So I've it's always worth it. I learned the most always like 10 minutes after losing the heat. Yeah. Like every year I'd lose a heat, I'd hear the feedback and I'd literally go out for 10 minutes and be like, why didn't oh, I just I do that 15 that. minutes yeah, ago yeah. in the heat? It's like that would have made a huge yeah. difference. But like, I think that's the thing I love about competition. I learned so much mm. from it that I wouldn't learn just by myself. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's sick, yeah. Nigel was actually telling me, um, chairman of BD Way, Nigel was... Uh, it was a while back now, it's probably nearly 10 years, uh, Adam Lewis was competing, in UK, I think it was in Tyree, and uh, he got knocked out really early, mm. this is when he was like, just before duo tones, so he was like right. 0.7, and still so young, like, yeah. ripping, yeah. but he's like, got knocked out early, and he was like, what am I doing wrong, and they basically mm. went, uh, you're just not landing your jumps, and he was like, what do you mean, he was like, well you're just crashing your jumps, because you're trying too hard, mm. and went, alright then, double, <laughs> just went, Stall forward, back loop, stall forward, back loop, literally storm through the whole double because he was just then all of a sudden consistent because he wasn't yeah. overthinking, he wasn't, he wasn't thinking. He wasn't like trying too hard. Yeah, I wasn't, he wasn't going like, I need to do these crazy things. I'd yeah. like to, he just went, oh, I'm just not landing them. So he just yeah. went, right, I'll do what I know. Yeah. And all of a sudden, like, Definitely. it's as simple as that a lot of the times. Yeah. Or it's like, oh, don't think about too much about your third, fourth, fifth term, turn on a wave, one big smack. Mm will probably get you further than like 20 wiggles mm. into the white water and whatever True. else. I think that's what I needed to hear as well. I was playing it too safe in most of my, my heats. I'd be going for safety turns rather yeah. than that big yeah. whack or an aerial or something. So I like to get two waves kind of completed and then mm. go for it a little bit more after that. That's yeah, the yeah. ideal scenario. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think it's today as well when it's light, it's really difficult because mm. like it's a 14 minute heat, but if you go for a risky hit, which will be rewarded, 
but then screw it up. You could lose like four or five minutes of your heat by swimming in the light winds and then ended up be down there. So like yeah. you're saying, yeah, is a, there's a bit of strategy in there, I guess. Oh, cool. Um, just moving on a little bit. Get quickly talk about the women. Because women did a yeah. few rounds today, didn't they? There's, is that how many of them is there this year? It's five, I think this year. Five? Yeah, five. And so um, you just do you stick them all in one heat, and then do rounds of that. Is that how yeah. It works? So I think because there's, I think I'm not 100 percent sure on this, but I believe because there's only five of them, they almost approach them and say, "Well, how do you want to run it?" And I think most right. of the time they just want to do, is it repertoire or whatever repertoire yeah, yeah. heats where it's basically like all five of them in one heat. They just do round after round after round, and it'll like a bit like the slalom, like they do yeah. each elimination. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, and that was really cool to see. I think, I'm not sure I wasn't here last year, but five women, this is quite a lot of women yes, for, for Tyree. Again, maybe because it's a bit scary and it puts off some women, but yeah. um, fantastic. They're like, coming here I think is fantastic. And I think they stick together and they really help each other as a, mm. as a fleet yeah, and they, they a work group. as a unit, mm. a really nice group. And um, it's really nice to see that come along over the past few years. Yeah. Um, Standouts today. I think it's Leith and it's Corey, yeah. is that saying him? Like I've seen Leith say it a lot and she's, I've seen her like come Improved. along for a few yeah. years and just get better and better, yeah. which is unbelievable to see. And Corey, I've never seen sail before. Yeah. And uh, being a similar rider myself, yeah. Adrian's spoken about her recently and seeing her, I was sat in the judge, uh, the truck with me, Adrian and Duncan and Corey's first wave just hit this massive section fully vertical, spray went everywhere. <laughs> and I, I was like, I'm pretty sure Duncan had to lift his chin off the floor. I like, <laughs> everyone just went, oh my God, like, oh, wow. yeah. well, that was unbelievable. And uh, I think, yeah, she could give most of the, the pro men's a run for their money. Yeah. Waves, 100% I know like, like, there's a few, like, few of you surprised, but like, because well, I saw, I was, when I was in Tenerife, I saw a sale, she, she actually did the, the World Tour event there. I think at first, hey, she killed it. But then, just got a bit unlucky with the second one where like the wind died. I yeah. think she had the right sail, but like I think you were saying Duncan or just basically saying she should do the, some of yeah. the world tour events and she's 100%. definitely good enough. So yeah, she's um she's looking really good. And that's re- and it, it, Leif like they they were close a lot of the times. Yeah. Um, and Leif has such a nice flow. I think Corey just gets that like twelve o'clock on the board mm-hmm. when it comes to hitting the wave. Um. She's got a house, house place in Tenerife, which helps. Isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah. Practice ground. So she's in the lead at the moment? I, I believe so. Okay. Yeah, I believe so. Um, I mean, it's such a long day, I, I probably couldn't recite <laughs> like, where, where everyone's sat currently. But yeah, that's, that's epic to see, because especially in the, the women's... For me, anyway, there's been a bit of change, and there's been a lot of women's on the Pro Tour, mm. changing over the past few years. There's a new generation. There's a new on generation the coming. Well. Yeah, yeah, and... Corey's actually slightly older because she did a master's degree and is now giving time for windsurfing. Mm. Um, yeah, we cool. And I think she's like almost a bit like a bit of a well, she's she's British, so yeah. it's like that'd be well cool. That'd be good to see. That'd be fucking epic yeah. to to get another it's British lady on the tour. It's yeah. been a long time, yeah. Not yeah. many, is there? No, I no. think Sarah Hilda was the last British girl yeah. on the tour. I think her last event on the PDW was probably yeah over ten years ago. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. Unless she did Chile, maybe. Yeah, yeah six C, cool. and again, Tyree's place to see it because it's super friendly, super chilled out, nice and social. So you don't just see her and then disappear. It's like we're gonna go chat in the pub and chat afterwards, and mm-hmm. yeah, so everyone's super stoked. So no, that's yeah, cool. Wicked. Cool to see the women ripping. Um, pro men, big day today. We <sighs> any upsets? Well, <laughs> why do you, you want to talk about the upsets? <laughs> yeah, you can bring that up. <laughs> no, we did have some upsets today, which was. I would say it's good to see like some different people, um, you know, at the top. Mm. Don't know who should we start with. There's a few. There's a few. Well, 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 basically, what happened today, actually, if you haven't heard before, is we did actually a little bit of the single on the first day in the starboard attack, and then um, because a few people were, like left behind on the boat, and today we did the rest of them, and then we started working up, and we actually got to the final. Um, happily got the. Stoked to get to the final, um, but joining me with joining me in the final is Ben Page, which that'll be his first final, which we're going to do tomorrow morning. 
first podium. Um, yeah, did you see any of his hates? He was ripping. Yeah. Yeah, he was really getting nice turns, like flow and vertical. Mm. Um, yeah, it was it was quite nice to see. Like, he was definitely one of the best to watch, uh, as well as He's yourself. Got a good style, like yeah, kind of I think vertical, both of isn't he? Yeah. Both of yeah. had that nice style spray. Carries the speed like, through. Yeah, he kind of made it look easy versus mm. other people who are kind of struggling to connect things or yeah making a nice vertical hit and then falling off the back it was uh, in, was it you saying he like sailed he's his home spot's big Bree, right yeah like big Bree and then around there and i think he's just moved uh that way permanently and uh actually chat after after today i was chatting with him on the beach and i said to adrian at the start of his heat with horrocks i kind of said because the, the wind shifted more on shore, went lighter. This was the semi-final, wasn't it, against y- Phil Horrocks? Yeah, yeah, like it shifted more on shore, went quite lighter. So it was, it was bog and ride cross on shore, which yeah, is, is difficult. difficult. It's yeah. very difficult. We dropped it down to two waves, no jumps. And uh, I remember saying in the van, I was like, every time I've been to Ben's local spot, if it's not been like a storm, mm. this is what it looks like. Mm. Like every day. And... I think now he's moved to this new house of his, he gets to try and get in the water like every day before work and things like this. And uh, exactly that, I spoke to him after heat and he was like, I sailed this two days before I came to Thailand, yeah. this exact conditions. And yeah. I did the two days before that and like a couple of days before that. So yeah. I'd say he was and hoping was like, for a final today. Yeah, he, he said, I couldn't, I couldn't have hoped for better conditions, which is interesting because I'd say 90% of wave sailors would look at that and go, I'm not even going out. Hmm. Yeah. But he's just so keen and loves it. And fair play to him, like it's that's what competition's about, right? Yeah. Like you don't get served the best thing in the world. He's all the one time. of them who's been really good for so many years, but so never good. really like managed to Well, to be fair, he came third last year in the overall British title, yeah. I think. He's, he's, he's been always up there. lurking yeah. there. He's, he's, yeah. Yeah. he's been slowly creeping about and But like his free sailing, because I've oh. sailed a bit with him in like Gwydion and stuff, it's like he's He's ripped. Sick, so yeah, he's like good to see. the energizer bunny of British windsurfing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's just constantly windsurfing, like yeah. non stop. And sick. whenever I go out with him, he's like, he's on the water for like six hours straight. Yeah. Like, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, yeah, well, it's paid off, which is really, that's really cool. Because now, um, now he's in the final yeah. with yourself. I'm excited for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, I've never sailed a final with them, so it's just something no. different. So um, it, it almost feels a bit of change of guard, right? Yeah, it's like, cool. And uh, yeah, m- like moving on to the other upset, Ruri. I had a heat against Ruri, but he he came through. I don't know who he beat in the first round. Um, was Archer, Mike Archer. Mike Archer. Two lo- yeah, two, then, two island lads. <laughs> yeah. Is I he an Irish guy? No, no. It's from oh, Tyree. Right, he lives boys, in Tyree. Yeah. He's not. He's from yeah. England, but he's he lives in Tyree. Mm. Um, so, so I think he had a good heat there. I think Duncan was impressed with his wave. He got a highest wave score. Was highest wave score on Monday, even the new uh, six point five. And yeah, guy. he's definitely Best he's always been a good well. wave rider. His jumps have mm-hmm. is where he's been trying to work out over the last few years. But he's de- always if had he, a good if style. If he can dial in a couple of jumps, he'll be really dangerous. Yeah, really dangerous. And I think that would, yeah, like could would be really interesting to see where his career in windsurfing goes if he can get some jumps yeah, dialed in. Definitely. I think what, what surprised everyone is even in these conditions is the, like he carries speed through mm. and like applies it instead of like applying a top turn and sort of forcing that tail out to, to spray a bit or something. Like he's mm. actually bringing the speed through rather than just yeah. not faking like, it. But You can see his body movement through. Yeah. He's doing he's, so much he more than it. anyone else. Yeah. He generally surfs yeah. it. Which is, and he does surf as well, board. so that yeah. probably helps a little bit. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, he and then he had a heat against, was it the next heat was against Bubble? Yeah. Or, I, I think, don't know if he had a Yeah, it was Bubbles then. Bubbles yeah, the, the yeah, yeah, really quarterfinals. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Bubble being his boss, so that was uh, <laughs> an interesting one. <laughs> but um, he, I mean, again, he sailed well, though, didn't he? Yeah, that was like, I think for the was whole... It? it was pretty tight, that heat, though. The yeah. whole day, it, that was the hardest heat by far. Really? Yeah, they were, they were so neck and neck, and it was kind of like this. And the worst thing is, because there is no jumps, mm. in each heat, man on man, is they're, they're surfing each wave literally behind each other, mm. like so this. Got so keep it's really hard to watch. Um, but keeping track of them all, it's it's so close, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's just 
it was one of those things and Rui just managed to put that, that few more not point yeah, yeah. one or not point <laughs> two yeah. on the board. And I did like it was that close that we actually we gave the announcement of who won but then had to hold it back when we had a spare second to make sure we were happy with mm. what we'd actually given because it was so close we didn't want to because that would change everything yeah. and so we, yeah we wanted to go back it's important but, yeah it's important yeah right. and yeah it, it was but then and, and then did Duncan have his opinion on it as well I think Duncan had his opinion I think he agreed with it I think he he would have I don't know so close kind of things that well I think really could have lent either way. Yeah, yeah. But I think the fact that we've got reason for our decision and and, and went with yeah. with Rory it's, again, like. But it happens at every like the World Tour events, yeah. everything, <coughs> so many different sports. Yeah. So it's just. But also, like I was kind of saying to earlier today, like ten, fifteen years ago, it probably would have been bubble with someone else. Yeah. Like Bubble was in Rory's shoes because Bubble, was, I always remember growing up and Bubble was the person that was out in like five knots doing shackers and stuff. Like mm. he was he was the guy in light winds and, and maybe just that shift of guard now and, and Rory's, just Rory's condition. He's not a local, but he lives on the island most of the time. Like yeah. can't really complain too much on that. Yeah. Um, He's definitely put in the hours and the chop bothering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the light winds. The shot bothering. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Years milk years is everywhere. So I, yeah. think, oh, I think he's earned that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fair play to him. Yeah, yeah it's good. Um, no, nah, yeah. it's cool. No, I had, and then I had the heat against me, which was, again, yeah. I was yeah. obviously stoked to, to be in a semi final. I think it was semi final. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that was really cool. Actually, the heat before, I was with James Cox and I was fucking super nervous. I yeah. don't know if how you nervous you get, but. For some reason, that heat, I was just really nervous. Against a big name, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, it's just like a... Yeah, I think anyway. James Cox is a giant slayer, right? Like, <laughs> on his day, can just be everyone. Mm. Like, can just do it. Like, yeah. There's that year, it was uh, in Gwydion, just like, came yeah. out and like, I think, he, maybe did he win? Uh, yeah, he won Gwydion, yeah, right? Gwydion right? Like, like ago, yeah. storm through and just beat everyone. Yeah, yeah. And everyone was like, ah, oh, sick. Yeah, and Port Tack isn't his strong side, but it's still... Yeah. So, yeah, he's still very um, good. Yeah, that was scary, but um, yeah, again, Might I think just be it was the goatee. Yeah, all the tash, yeah, tash. whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's in my food lab. No, it's, <laughs> no, not yours. His. Oh, okay. so that's scary. Oh, is he got yeah. a big beard? Yeah, he's got big, big beard. Big beard. beard. Yeah, he's uh, gone. No, I just saw it through the yeah. <laughs> the hood. So. He's got a full lumberjack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drinking Might be whiskey. that intimidating you. Yeah, I don't know. It, I mean, it's just it's like the quarter final, so it's still like. You know, if you lose at that point, then then double still got quite mm. way back, and it's. I feel like yeah. each each round of double, it's just like almost. I get I get less nervous each round I go. Mm. Like, yeah. I don't know about about you. Everyone. Like when you've competed. I feel like once you're in the double, the top four guys. Yeah. They have something to lose, whereas the bottom guys. It's all something to, to prove. Yeah. Yeah. But not in the single prove, in the single elimination, like, would you say? Would you not say like? Your, f- your first heat's always like a bit nervous because if you lose then yeah. it just sucks doesn't it yeah like you want to try and get as far as you can yeah. to make it as easy as you can but then like the top one or two or even three guys they're on the podium so they don't want to fall yeah, off yeah. it again I think Versus, like the like, best the position like, I'm kind of in a good position now where the worst I can get is third now yeah. which is nice that going to get a podium which is nice safe spot to be <laughs> good safe spot yeah. to be but yeah, if you're in that third position, like the losers' final tomorrow is going to be Phil Horrocks and Rory, isn't it? Yeah, man. So I think like, <laughs> like going going back to that nervous thing, it's really strange from being on competitive side for so many years, and like you can see, you feel nervous, but you don't really see other people really being nervous because you don't see other people's heat so much. Yeah. Being on a judging side, you could probably pick out who was nervous <laughs> on the water, really, or who let it affect them on the water. Really, yeah, because yeah. they'll be free sailing and they're like. You're like, oh, they're gonna absolutely destroy it. Mm. Get into the heat, just fall apart. Just like nothing really works. Waves don't come together. Yeah. Jumps keep crashing, and you then then forcing sections. Yeah, and it was like early. I didn't. Do you like, think oh. Phil was a bit nervous today, or did it just not? I don't. I think that was a bit of bad luck, and it just didn't work in that last yeah. heat. I think that's I think what it's that just was. Too light for him. As yeah, well. like the nerves thing is a little bit different. Okay. I think you can kind of pick that out from the get go, right. and it is interesting to see. And you just think, wow. Just, 
especially some big names. I'm not going to say who, but yeah. like yeah. some big names in, in the pro fleet. You're like, oh, damn. And I didn't realize it. it like literally, Shan's was like, it's literally just nerves. Yeah. Just because it just. Mindset. Massive, yeah. Just didn't think, oh, like it's nerves related or didn't quite work or whatever. Mm. And yeah, it's, it's interesting to see. But what will be cool is if we get these conditions that are meant to come through, like yeah. not going to be big waves, but it could be windy down the line. Like yeah. really good. That's what quite like about Tyree, like you get these days which is just tricky days, and it like yeah, you know, it brings a bit different saying out of everyone, and like who's actually, you know, been working in this on the big gear yeah. and stuff like that, and then, and then hopefully tomorrow we'll get it pretty. I'm not gonna say epic, but it should be pretty. <laughs> sick. Touch wood. Yeah, <laughs> um, it'll be hopefully cross off and some yeah. good riding. So With that'll be like a cross. you know. Wouldn't bit, mind that. Bit of cross, yeah. yeah. Jump in. <laughs> I think we'll start Let's crossing the right morning, in. right? <laughs> yeah. But, but then you get like with the double and the, the upsets that have been today. Tomorrow, hopefully, like, it will just be more like people shredding, which is, yeah, which is another side of it. I'm excited to see because, like you're saying, people who are in the top, they're trying to not lose it. And people who've mm. maybe no, been knocked out earlier want to prove it. But also the guys that maybe thought they should have been on the podium who, like we said, got knocked out mm. or whatever. It's going to be like, exciting. They're gonna come back with a vengeance because we know they can put a heat together and like really put a heat together. Mm. Yeah. So that'll be really cool to see, I think, especially in good like if he's gonna be pumping. Yeah. It's gonna be dangerous. Excited. Yeah. You're up, you're on the double? I am indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Early on. Motivated. You'll see me coming. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah. No, it's gonna be cool. It's the, today a bit difficult, a couple of upsets and then hopefully tomorrow we'll We'll see who's charging through. It's going to be a good watch, hopefully. There'll be live streams, so you yeah. can probably... Well, there will be live streams, so you can watch that on the Tari YouTube and uh, probably be here again to talk about it. To be bragging and, uh, about it? <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Um, Celebrating with some Buckfest? <laughs> yeah. Why not? I think Why so. not? You know. Yeah. You only live once. Just get more than one bottle because I didn't last long, did it? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, that's it for now. We're um, going to have to cover your your evening meal tonight. Is that what we're going to cover that? Oh, yeah, God, yeah. We haven't even we'll covered sweep, the... We'll sweep that under the... Under oh, the man. Is that with the hairs? Yeah, yeah. With the hairs. We'll have to, well, we might need a whole new episode yeah. for the um, come dine with me that we've been doing in the house. Um, Is that where we do that? Wrap it up with the prize giving we're going to do as well? <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. Luke's organising a trophy, <laughs> might organise a trophy for the, the, the come down with me. Yeah, the Tyree food classic. Yeah. I literally, I said to them earlier, I've put so, probably as much effort into the cooking tonight <laughs> as my heat. I was like, this has to be perfect, you know, yeah. I can't get this right. <laughs> but yeah, who's up tomorrow cooking? I think it depends on yeah. what the crack is, is like uh, how long the day is and if we can get to the shop and stuff, but it'll either be... Me and the missus, or, or Julius, who's on his own. So this yeah. would be or pot noodles. Pot noodles. Pot noodles yeah. and raw eggs. Raw yeah. eggs. Yeah. Can't wait. I've seen people crack an egg into pot noodles. And it cooks in the <laughs> boiling water. Seen, I've seen that You've before. seen it, what do you mean by I, I didn't it. do it, I didn't do it. <laughs> I've seen it, I've judged it, I haven't tried it. So. There you go. Could Perfect. be a risky a ramen. one. <laughs> pot yeah. noodle ramen. Mm -hmm. There you have it. All right, I think that's it. That's us done. Yeah. Oh, the other thing is, if anyone's got any questions about Tari or the competition, then yeah. put them down and then I'll we'll try. We'll or try any and abuse them. for us, leave it down the yeah, comments just, below. Yeah, and make sure, because sometimes yeah. you don't know who it's targeted at, so yeah, yeah. put their name and say, <laughs> yeah, put their name. <laughs> what do you mean about this? <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry. Yeah. Um, That'd be nice. That? Bedtime. Yeah. Okay. It's late, isn't it? Oh, I'll have a long day tomorrow. I've just been hiding there the whole time. Yeah. yeah.